With all of us watching streaming services, gaming with friends, and the increasing use of power over Ethernet devices such as security cameras, many people want to install wired Ethernet jacks in their house to get faster service instead of relying on Wi-Fi. I've installed jacks all over our house, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the correct low voltage wall bracket and Ethernet wall jack to bring high speed Ethernet to your home. Once you've decided where you want the wall jack, based on where your devices are and where you can fish the Ethernet cable to, then you need to install a low voltage wall bracket. See, you don't use electrical boxes for Ethernet cabling. I suggest you use the VCE low voltage wall bracket. Here's an installation video I made on this wall bracket. Start by using a stud finder to make sure that there are no studs in the area where you want to install the jack. Remove the faceplate from an outlet and measure to the bottom of the existing outlet box. This makes sure that the ethernet jack will line up with the rest of the outlets in the room when it's installed. Put a mark on the wall at that height. Using a level, mark a two and a quarter inch long line on the wall at that mark. At each end, make the line a little thicker because you need to be able to see this line through the two alignment holes. Then take your bracket and make sure when you line it up, you can see the line through those two alignment holes. Now hold the bracket on the wall and make a mark using a pencil in each of the four alignment holes. Use the level to draw perfectly vertical and horizontal lines between those marks. Using a jab saw, cut along the lines. I don't recommend a power saw because you don't know what's in behind this wall. If there's a wire or there's a pipe, you don't want to hit it. has a little bump out here on each end so you're gonna have to open up the hole just a little bit at that point test fit to make sure that the bracket goes in and sits flush with the wall then screw the two screws in on the front and they will pull the wings on the back in up against the drywall tightening the bracket to the drywall. Before you get it fully tight make sure you check with the level to make sure it's straight and adjust it if you need to. Once the bracket is installed, you need to add the jack. And the ones I use now are much easier than the ones I used before. I use these VCE Ethernet wall jacks. Let me show you why I prefer them over what I used to use. I recently installed four of these VCE Ethernet wall plates at a relative's home so they could get faster internet in some farther parts of the house. Now let me share why I found working with these jacks far easier than the other jacks I've worked with before. The best thing about these wall plates is you only need a standard Ethernet plug to plug into the jack. You don't have to wire them. 
See, the other jacks I've used require you to punch block the wires into the jack. This is a real hassle. Start by connecting the jack to the wall plate. This little tab goes on that side, and then this just clicks in. Then crimp an ethernet plug onto the end of the wire. And now you simply plug the ethernet plug into this jack, and it's now connected. If you have a cable that already has plugs on the end, it's even easier. You just take the plug and click it into the jack. This is much easier and more reliable in my experience. Another advantage is that you can test the crimped plug to make sure it works before you connect it to the jack. This is much easier than trying to troubleshoot a punch blocked jack. Once you've tested the cable, all you need to do is attach it to the jack and install the jack in the wall bracket. Here's the video of me doing that. Pull your wire in to the bracket, attach a uh, plug on the end if you don't have that already. Then you can connect it to the wall plate and then you can install the wall plate to the bracket using the screws that are included with the wall plate. Just line that up with the screw hole on the bracket. When you want to install Ethernet wall jacks in your home for faster internet, gaming, and to use those power over Ethernet devices that are becoming much more common today, use these VCE low voltage wall brackets and Ethernet wall jacks. I'll link to them and some of the other tools and supplies in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you get notified when I do more videos about DIY tools, products, and projects. Here are some other videos I think you'll also find interesting. Thanks for watching.